one of the most painful things is when you have given to someone your best. You've housed them, you've fed them, you've loved them, you've invested in them, but they never saw it. And in fact, they turn to enemies, frenemies, you know, haters, gossipers. And in many cases, you know, it's the people that are closest to you that will hurt you the most. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're going through that or if you've gone through that, that when you sow any seed, just sow by faith. Don't sow by sight. I mean, if you pay for Mary her school fees, sow by faith. Leave Mary alone because Mary may not pay you back. Mary might be offended at you by the end of you paying that school fees. Listen, Jesus, when he was here on earth, when he needed his people the most, the last few days at the cross, Peter denied him. Judas betrayed him. John, who was his beshte, was watching from afar. And, and, and the disciples fled. And those were his people. And that's the way it is. When you get into trouble, you realize, well, I'm just alone. Me and my Jesus. But what I'm telling you is, to this day, Jesus sowed by faith love. He forgave the disciples and all his people. And he sowed love by faith into this kingdom. And to this day, Jesus is reaping love from billions and billions and billions of people that he sacrificed for. So I believe the same principle is working for us today. That when we sow love in the lives of other people, by faith, we will reap love. It may not be from that particular person that you sow to, but God pays very well. And he never sleeps nor slumbers. So keep doing good. Keep giving. Keep feeding. Keep paying school fees. Doing good things. Because you will reap a harvest in due time.